In this question, we're given two Fourier pairs and we're asked to find a series of Fourier transforms and inverse Fourier transforms. So if we start with the first one, find the Fourier transform of this signal, it looks very much like that, doesn't it? So we simply identify that um, A in this case is 2, so we can write the answer as 1 over 2 plus j omega. So that was easy enough. The next question is the sum of two time domain signals. So we have a, an addition and we have that multiplication. You can see the hint there in the background. It says use the linearity property. So we can find the Fourier transform of each of these and then just add them together. So the first one looks very much like the first um, one we did in question A. So A would be 1. That's the coefficient of t here. So the Fourier transform of that would simply be 1 over 1 plus j omega, and then plus 2. That's that 2 there. And then e to the minus 5t, look at that coefficient, minus 5, and here you have the coefficient alpha, so we would identify alpha as being 5 in this case. So the Fourier transform is simply that. So it's 2 times 5 divided by 5 squared plus omega squared. And we can combine the 2, the 2, and the 5 into a 20 there. The next question looks like it's a signal that's been shifted by three seconds, shifted to the right by three seconds. Now, if you look carefully, it's actually the same signal from part A, but shifted three seconds. So all we have to do is rewrite the answer from part A, which was 1 over 2 plus j omega, but then using the time shift property, we multiply it by e to the minus j omega times 3. 3 being the shift. So it's a 3 second shift. That's that 3 there. 